Hi guys, it's um, Madeline. So, I decided to do a video based on um, a question that a lot of you guys have asked me, which is, how are you so confident? Because I think this is really relevant to the majority of my viewers, and it's a really important and critical thing to be confident. I saw someone say that confidence is not a personality trait but a mindset, and I wholeheartedly agree with that. Once you change your perspective on yourself, for example, becoming confident, then you kind of change your perspective on everything else. To clarify, um, like once I started like being confident and seeing beauty in myself, then I could see it in everything else so much more because I learned to appreciate all the things about myself, which made me learn to appreciate all the things about everything else in the world. So in a way, it really is like a mindset. And um, so I'm gonna give you like a few tips, I guess, um, or suggestions on how to be confident. And I really hope this helps you guys because you all honestly deserve to feel confident. Everybody deserves to be able to appreciate themselves and to love themselves. It's really important. It honestly, it makes me so sad when people truly do not see like how wonderful they really are. I really like when people come to me and they're like, I admire your confidence so much. I wish I could be that way. Well, you can be that way. It's, it's honestly just a change of perspective. Okay, so here we go. Here are some tips. Okay, tip one is simply to stop thinking so negatively. And yes, this really is that simple. Instead of constantly thinking about the things you hate in yourself, or focusing on what you've done wrong or making negative assumptions, just don't. Don't make negative assumptions and don't think negatively about yourself. Don't assume things like, well, I'm not as pretty as this other girl, so this guy isn't gonna like me. Because you don't know that. And if you dwell on all the negative stuff all the time, then it's just gonna make you in a worse mood and it's gonna contribute to you having a lack of confidence. Don't focus on, you know, something you do wrong one day, like if you're in a sport and you don't do well, or um, if you get in an argument with somebody, don't just constantly focus on that and don't hate yourself for it because we all make mistakes and you have to realize that. It's okay to mess up and it's okay to, to do things you regret I mean, it happens, and you have to realize that's a part of life, and you can't just let that control entirely how you feel about yourself. Because if that was the case, we would be upset. All of Every human would be upset every day all the time, because we do little things that are dumb, or we mess up all the time. But that's okay. It really is okay. I promise. So, tip two, to elaborate more on that, think positively. Just... Focus on every single thing that you like in yourself. As little as it may be, or as few things as there may be, find something you actually like about yourself. If one day you wake up and you do your makeup good, then focus on that. If you like your smile, then focus on that. Really appreciate the good things about yourself. If you like how you do your makeup, then you know, maybe try something new to your makeup that's similar and, you know, maybe it'll make you feel even better. Or if you like your smile, then, you know, go out on a limb and take a picture and post it. And that would probably help as well. So tip three is if you don't like something about yourself or if you're just not sure what to do to make yourself more confident, then change something. If for example, um, you don't like your hair, or your hair is boring, then just do something with it, you know? Take a chance. I mean, 
cutting your hair or doing something to your hair can make all the difference in confidence, honestly. Every time I get my hair done, my confidence level goes like through the roof. So, you know, just do something like that. Or as I said, you know, you might want to like change your makeup style because I've done that a few times and it's really made me feel a lot more confident. And then I just like stick with that makeup style that I like. And then I'm just like, wow, this makeup looks really good. And you know, since I do it every day, it just makes me feel a little bit better about myself every single day. Um, or, you know, if you're worried about something like your weight or your shape or something, then work out or, you know, start eating healthier. Because if you get into a habit of doing something that, you know, makes you feel better about yourself from anything, you know, from like changing your makeup and doing a makeup style you like every day to working out every day, then, like I said, you'll feel good about yourself every single time you do it. So each day you'll feel a little bit better about yourself. And specifically with like working out and eating healthier, because you know that that's good for you and you'll feel better about yourself, then like all around, it's almost like you get more satisfied with how you look, even if there aren't really extreme results because you know you're doing something about it. And doing something about it can make you more positive about it, which can just kind of lift your confidence level. So I guess tip four, kind of relating to that, to lift your confidence, this is away from kind of like a physical thing, is to just do helpful things. Um, you know, do like a good deed. If you're feeling bad about yourself, what I'll do, like when I'm in a bad mood is I like go try to find people that I can help. Like, you know, people on Instagram or people I notice that are sad, like I'll try to cheer them up because it makes me happy. It puts me in a better mood and it makes me feel better about myself as a person. Plus it helps them. Um, so that can work just, you know, pertaining to making your mood better, but also confidence. Um, I'd say that kind of relating to that, like just trying new things can often help your confidence. Um, like when I tried out for the dance team um, and after like, you know, I got decent and every time I would learn a new dance and perform it well, then I would feel really good about myself. So just things like that can help your confidence tremendously. But it's honestly, it's all in your mind. It's all a mindset. So please, please just stick to the positives and don't always think negatively about yourself because you really, you really, really, really don't have to. Because we literally, all of us have something that looks nice on us. We all have something good that we do. And if we just focus on those things and, you know, make them even better and change the things that we don't like, and if we can't change them, then maybe change our perspective on them. Then it can really, really help us all to learn to be confident. And I really want you guys to be confident. I really do, because you're all such wonderful people, and all you guys are always so nice to me, and you're all so beautiful, and I really just want you to see that, you know? So, when next time when somebody compliments you, instead of saying, no I'm not, or, something, just start, you know, accepting it and saying thank you and considering what they say. Because when I was taking the steps towards becoming confident, that's a big transition that I made is going from being like, no, I'm not, or you're wrong, or okay, to thanks and thinking about what they said. Because once you accept a compliment, then every time somebody compliments you, it'll make you feel good about yourself. Because It'll make you think, hey, whatever they complimented me on, that looks good. Somebody thinks that looks good. So, you know, it does look good. And now I'm confident about it. Okay, and my last tip, which I think is tip five, is just to smile. I know that a lot of you will probably think that that's dumb. I mean, how could that work? How could that make me more confident? But honestly, Smiling makes you all around happier. And 
Confidence is kind of a part of being happy. It really contributes to it. So, you know, instead of holding back a smile or making sure you frown all day, just, you know, try to smile, try to laugh, and try to be happy, and it will also help with your confidence. So, thank you for watching, and I really hope that this helps somebody, or that maybe it gives you new ideas or a new perspective. Um, and I'm really going to try to start making more YouTube videos, and, you know, somewhat regularly. So, if you guys ever have any, you know, requests, then please, please leave them below or at my Ask FM. It's in the description box. If you guys ever have any questions about confidence or anything, please go to my Ask FM or leave it below. Thanks. Love you.